All right, welcome back. James Wedmore here, and I want to thank you for tuning in to our exciting and powerful three-part video series on how to create your business by design. Now, this is it, our third and final video in our installment. And I want to take a moment and truly thank you for the comments, the questions, the feedback, everything that I've been receiving over the past few days. So thank you. I'm so excited to share today's content with you. Not only am I gonna take you through a powerful goal setting and goal accomplishing exercise, I'm about to introduce you to one of my favorite case studies, an entrepreneur who went from zero to $400,000 in his first two years of business and how he is now on track to hit the $1 million mark. And I'm gonna show you exactly how he did it. Now, if you're just joining us, make sure to go back and watch video number one and number two first, because the training I'm about to share with you here is the final act, the piece that ties it all together and makes this all work. But none of it is gonna make any sense if you don't start there first. Okay, let's do this. By now, I'm sure you're pretty eager to finalize your plan so that you can jump in and take action. And if you're like most of my students, well, you have a message a desire to help others, or you have content that you're ready to monetize. And even when you have a plan, there's one thing that tends to stop us dead in our tracks and prevent us from ever accomplishing our goals. What is that? Self-doubt. Who am I to be the expert? Who am I to be teaching or sharing any of this? Well, I wanna introduce you to someone who suffered from this so badly that after 14 months of leaving his corporate job, he still hadn't made a single dollar in his online business, despite working his tail off. And we'll reveal the shift that had to occur to catapult him from zero to seven figures in three years. His name is Rick Mulready. And in the winter of 2013, I reluctantly said yes to taking him on as a coaching client. Now, I wasn't doing any client work at the time, so I threw out an expensive rate of $10,000 for just four calls. He sent me a check the next day, and we got started. Now, as I mentioned, when Rick and I started working together, he was literally starting at zero, no sales. But after leaving his corporate career job some 14 months earlier, he had stayed busy, like really busy. He had a podcast, wrote some articles, and he worked on perfecting his blog and website, but still nothing. He was floundering. And to make matters worse, he had less than six months of saved up cash left. Six months before he would have to give up on his dream of running his own business and go back to work, looking for a job. Within a few minutes of our very first interaction, I asked Rick why he thought he hadn't made any money in the 14 months of hard work he'd produced. He had no clue. Now, I didn't wanna rob him of an answer here, so we sat in silence until finally it came to him. He didn't have anything to sell. I know that answer sounds really simple, but the reason why he didn't have anything to sell was something that is all too real for the rest of us. Who the heck am I to be selling something? I'm no expert. Well, why are you waiting for permission? Look, no public figure or mayor of the internet is ever gonna come down and charge you with the task of creating a signature program. Who are you not to be the expert? Being an authority doesn't mean knowing everything about everything. It doesn't mean having a fancy degree from some Ivy League school or even having a best-selling book. It's about having the ability to get someone else results. If you can help someone get started on Snapchat or help them find a boyfriend or lose 10 pounds, then you can help and you can get paid to do it. And no matter who you think you are or aren't right now, there are still others who are dying to be at your level, dying to know what you know, what you probably take for granted every day. You wanna know what I was doing back before I became the YouTube and video marketing authority? I was doing house calls to senior citizens, getting paid $50 an hour to show them how to set up their Facebook profile. Sure, we spent the first 20 minutes finding their misplaced password, but after that, helping them upload family photos for the first time, or stay in touch with a family member on the other side of the country, 
Heck, I was their hero. Are you gonna deny your customer that same experience simply because you're afraid you're not good enough? Or are you gonna start focusing on the good you can do when you can put yourself out there and say three magic words? I can help. So, needless to say, Rick did overcome his self-doubt. He crafted his offer and set a goal of $20,000. The result? Well, after just one month of working together, Rick created his first online course around the Facebook advertising strategies he had learned in his corporate job. Then he launched that product and generated his very first $31,000 in sales. Fueled by his most recent success, Rick made a big annual revenue goal of hitting $100,000 that same year. And he beat it by 10,000. Then, the very next year, he quadrupled his revenue to $400,000. And this year, he's on track to hit 1 million in revenue. And the best part, Rick just hosted his first live event. He had me speak at it as well. And when I asked him how he went, he told me it was the most rewarding experience in his business. He got to meet face to face with the clients who had taken his program. He heard the stories of people who had doubled their revenue or quit their job to pursue their passion and how they had more customers because of him, because of the knowledge he shared with them. All of this because he took the leap. He had the courage to put himself out there and he had a desire to help others. Now, Rick is a normal guy like you and I. He followed the same launch equation that I'll share with you in just a moment, and he created one product, and he just repeated what worked again and again. And what you'll notice is that when you follow the formula, your results aren't linear. They become exponential because everything you do builds momentum. Now, Rick has become a very close friend of mine over the years. Heck, he even attended my wedding. So as we both reflected on his journey so far, I was curious and I asked him, Rick, what is life like for you now? And his response, James, I don't worry about money anymore. Not because I'm super filthy rich with billions in the bank account or anything, but because I've developed the skill of creating money on demand. I used to think that having a job was security, that running a business, being an entrepreneur is the very definition of risk. In reality, that's backwards. As an entrepreneur, I am in more control than ever now. I dictate what I'm doing every day and how I'm bringing in money. Now to me, that's the dream. That's what I'm committed to creating for my students. I feel like most of us were sold on the idea that entrepreneurship is sitting with your laptop on the beach, sipping on a Mai Tai. But I just don't buy it. If you've done the work to start a business, if you've made it this far, I just can't imagine that that's what really motivates you today. I have to believe that it's something deeper. Sure, we want freedom, we all do. But ultimately, I believe we achieve the experience of feeling free when we are 100% in control of our ability to create and attract money and abundance into our lives. To me, that's what we're all after. I know I was, and it didn't have to be easy or overnight. I was willing to do whatever it took to master that. So the question is, are you? So let's take a closer look at how you can start to powerfully create a plan that works for you. First, as you know, we must always start with results. What is the goal or accomplishment that you want to create for yourself? Do this now. Pause this video and write down the financial number that you would like to hit in the next 90 days or less. Now, did you do that? If not, do it right now. Okay, so here's a question for you. Was that hard? Did your brain immediately go, hmm, What's possible? What's realistic? How much time do I really have to do this? Did you write down a goal that's a little underwhelming? Well, that's okay, because now I want you to write down a second goal. What's the number that if you told others was your goal, they'd call you crazy? What's the financial number you really want, absent of any reason or opinion about what you think is realistic? 
the number that if you had a magic wand or a genie in a lamp, you could make this appear now. So pause this video and write that number down. Okay, did you do that? Excellent. You just created what I call your hairy scary goal. And between your first goal and your second goal is your middle goal. It's funny how much we really limit ourselves in our goal setting, right? We don't want to reach too high and fail. And then of course we worry that if we don't reach high enough, well, we might be limiting ourselves in some way. Creating these three numbers gives you more of a range to play in because it's not really about the number or the destination. It's about you and who you need to become first in order to get there. A goal just gives you direction, where to focus, how to align your actions. But until we actually map out your plan, well, it's still just a number on a piece of paper. So how do we do that? Well, for starters, I'll introduce you to the simple launch equation that I gave Rick and a lot of my other students. If you want to sell your content or your coaching, you'll need to have these four essential ingredients in this order. Free experience plus offer minus objections plus deadline equals your goal. Okay, let's break this down really quickly. Your goal is obviously what you just created. Your deadline is scarcity. It's the why now principle in action. And objections are all the reasons why people won't buy. Like, I can't afford it, I don't have the time, you get the idea. And you must, must address these. The offer is what you are selling. And remember, there are four types of offers. Digital training, membership sites, group coaching, and masterminding. And the free experience is what I call your sales mechanism. Now it can be a webinar, a video series, a challenge. Heck, I've done a $40,000 launch using nothing but a series of five emails and a checkout page. Those emails were my sales mechanism that provided a free and valuable experience to my subscribers. So for Rick, he chose a webinar, an experience that gives an hour of free content. So what's your sales mechanism? What platform can you create a free, content-packed, and valuable experience for your users? Now, at the end of Rick's webinar, he followed the equation and he made an invitation to enroll into his program. This is his offer. He addressed all the objections by asking and answering his attendees' questions. And then he threw in a deadline, a date in the future where the cart would close. And that is it. Now, I can only imagine in my sharing this, you have like 101 questions running through your head right now. What did he say on the webinar? What software did he use? How did he promote it? Well, right now, I want you to focus on your goal and how you can create a plan that works for you. A plan that you can actually follow from A to Z. And we can do this in just six easy steps. So, here goes. First, you want to start with your financial goal, the one that you wrote down. Now, Rick's was $20,000. Next, you identify your price point. How much is your offer? Rick was selling a program at $497. Next, identify how many units do you have to sell at that price point to hit your goal. For Rick, that's 40 units. Next, you identify how many attendees you'll need to have on your webinar or going through your free experience to make those sales. Now the guideline that we use for this is just 10%. So in Rick's case, he'll need 400 attendees. He'll need 400 people on his webinar so he can make those 40 sales. Next, you want to identify how many registrants that you need to reach 400 attendees. Now the guideline that we use for this is 30%. So roughly about 1,300 registrants are needed for Rick's webinar in order to get the 400 attendees. Then, finally, we must figure out how are we gonna get those registrants. Rick knows he can get about half of those leads from his existing email list, and the other half can come from Facebook ads. So, his action items become, he sends out three emails inviting them to a webinar, and he spends $1,300 in Facebook ads. 
and then he can hit his target. Send three emails, spend $1,300. He either does it or he doesn't. Here, Rick is taking the right actions to get the results that he's after. And if you went through this little exercise with me, well, you can begin to identify the right results for yourself. In fact, you can even begin to ask the right questions to create your plan immediately. Questions like, what are five things that you could do to increase your conversions on a webinar? Maybe have a fast acting bonus or cool testimonials and case studies. And what are five things that you could do to get more attendees? Maybe a few email reminders or the promise of a free giveaway once they attend. And of course, what are five things that you could do to get more people registered for the webinar? Maybe Facebook ads, social media promotions, or additional email invites. Is this starting to make sense? As we know, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. I hope you are now starting to see the straight line between where you are and the goals that you've created for yourself. Because this is only the beginning. In just a few short days, I'll be opening the doors to my signature program, Business by Design, a training system created specifically for content creators and online influencers looking for a focused and effective plan to scale, reach more people, and increase sales. It's a course that cuts through the crap and focuses on what really makes a difference. So you can spend your time and energy on what really, really matters. But most importantly, here's what it's not. It's not a program that just force feeds you my plan. It's an experience in mastering the fundamentals and principles of marketing and business. So you can develop a plan that is tailored to you, a plan for your business that is customized to your industry, your strengths, and your passions. Because in eight years, I've pretty much done it all. I've created over a dozen courses, a thriving membership site, I've done coaching, and even high-end masterminds. I've done the low-end offers and the high-end offers, automated campaigns and live launches, tripwires and funnels. The options are endless. Unfortunately, this leaves most of us stuck, stuck in paralysis by analysis. There's no one universal perfect strategy or solution for everyone. It's all about starting with you first. Where do you thrive? What do you love doing? How do you really want to build your business? That's where Business by Design comes in. I help you to discover the right plan that works for you. Then, since I've done it all, I just give you that plan. So right now, I want to take a moment and thank you. Thank you for making it this far in this video series. And if you're excited about the possibility of continuing with me on the next leg of this journey so we can take this all to a deeper level, then keep an eye out in your inbox. Because when we open the cart in just a few short days, I'll have an extra special surprise for you just on that first day. And in the meantime, please help me keep the conversation alive inside our private Facebook group and share with me your biggest breakthrough or aha moment from this entire video series. How has this training shifted your perspective on business? Thank you again so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.